the second part of what I want to talk about before the break is how we plan for success and avoid some of these complications. And I want to begin with really some straightforward stuff. What defines a successful implant restoration? I look at this tooth. Tooth number 11 is a metal ceramic crown. It's not a perfect reproduction of tooth number 21. The tissue around it, if you look in particular at the distal papilla, is not the same as the papilla on the distal of 21. But first view, you, there's no screaming problem here that says, hey, look at me, I'm a, I'm a prosthetic replacement crown. And I've got a very happy patient. So you don't have to be perfect to get an outcome that the patient will be satisfied with. What you need, according to Urs Balser and his group from a consensus meeting that we had in 2003, had the pleasure of working in the same group as Dr. Rakuzo at this particular ITI consensus conference. The prosthesis needs to be in harmony with the face. So when the patient speaks and talks and smiles from three feet and further out, the observer doesn't notice anything that's out of place. The next thing is if you get a little closer, Sometimes that involves talking a little closer. You know, when I talked to my 20-year-old daughter, um, I was explaining to her the other day that I will always love her because she's my daughter, but that she shouldn't anticipate that that means I always like her because I didn't like her on this particular day.